ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trustmark Arena. We're set for tonight's game against the West Georgia Wolves and the Montevallo Falcons. I'm Aiden Golden. And I'm Sarah Turner. And we're looking forward to a great game today between these two teams. Braxton, things to look out for. Braxton Bertolette's free throw streak came to an end on January 2nd at the Falcons game at West Alabama. He has one of the top free throw percentages in D2 at the moment. And this Falcon team has one of the most high-powered offenses in the Gulf South Conference at the moment, averaging the second most points per game in the GSC. But their defense is allowing the most points against in the Gulf South Conference. So they'll need to step up on their defense today to put the West Georgia Wolves away and keep the tempo up on offense in order to get points on the board early. Should be a fantastic night game tonight, folks. Join us back here for tip-off on the Falcon Athletics Network. Welcome back to Trustmark Arena. This game is about to get underway between the Montevallo Falcons and the University of West Georgia Wolves. Your starters for Montevallo are going to be Braxton Bertolet coming off of just ending his amazing free throw streak. One of the top free throw shooters in D2 basketball at the moment. A six-foot senior guard from Queens, New York, number three, J.C. McNeil. Other starter is going to be J.C. McNeil, Mason Shiflett, Aiden Gardner, and Tyler Moore. Big starting lineup four, for these one Tyler Val men. Moore. A six-five sophomore forward from Shepherdsville, Kentucky, number 24, Mason and a 6'9 sophomore forward from Geraldton, Western Australia, number 32, Aiden Gardner. Looking on the West, Florida, or West Georgia side, we have number one, Michael Zabatakis. Number 11, Colton Griffin. Number two, Cameron Duh Natlin. Number number three, Zadi Jackson, and then number five, Jalen Sasser. Falcons are coming into this game eight and nine, six and seven in conference play, tied in the middle of the pack of the Gulf South Conference at the moment with Mississippi College. This game would put them at seven and seven. Falcons win the tip off. And we are underway. Falcons winning the tip off. Moore now has the ball. He's going to hand it off to J.C. McNeil. Gets it down. Tried to get it down low to Gardner, and it just over his head. Goes out, and will be Wolves' ball on the inbound. It is Griffin. Montevallo's on a two-game win streak. The last win. Last game was a win at the University of West Alabama, 84 to 82. We're looking to bring that to a three game win streak here today. And Gardner getting called for a foul there. Shooting two for West Georgia, number two, Cameron Donatlin. Donatlin will step up to the line. He was putting in a layup and was going in until his teammate Griffin came in and tried to throw it down, but it popped out. But nevertheless, his first free throw is in. The second one is up, and it's a miss as well. But luckily, Sabatakis got the ball for the rebound. And this now the this Falcon team is not known for their defense. They have the, averaging the most points against per game in the conference. 
And a shot clock violation there. West Georgia not aware of the time they had with the ball. They're averaging 80 points against per game. Not something they want to do against this West Georgia offense. West Georgia's coming into this game 10 and 4, 9 and 3 in conference play. Tied for second in the conference at the moment. Bertolet put a man on skates and put it in for two. That's another thing. Falcons have to keep up the high intensity pace that they've been playing in the last couple of games. Yeah, and the Falcon offense has been so key to how they've been winning games this season. Averaging 77 points a game, that has them at second in the conference. High powered offense for the Falcons here in Trust Mark Arena this afternoon. Jackson tried to get off a three for the Wolves. He missed and then rebound was collected by Moore. Now Moore with the ball. Gets it off to Shiflet. Shiflet misses his jumper, but Gardner gets the rebound. Can't put it in for the second chance point. Satakis gets it over to Griffin now. It's done at one. Donatlin back to Griffin. Donatlin and Griffin just passing it back for Donatlin. Lays down the three. McNeil now with the ball. Back over to Shiflet. Move it. Move. Trying to create some movement here. Shiflet now shoots a three. Misses off the inside of the rim. Gardner does have the ball. Gets it out to Shiflet now over to Moore. Moore for three. Swiss. Tyler Moore, your GSC freshman of the week, three times running. Tyler Moore, just a freshman out of Hendersonville, Tennessee. He's been having such a big year. 42 assists this year. All South Conference Freshman of the Week last week. Three after times. After a big game in West Alabama. Three time Gulf South Conference Freshman of the Week. Zeptakis, D3, swish. Almost from the logo. McNeil now with the ball. He makes a move, drives to the basket. He misses, balls, ball around, but Gardner gets it. And draws a foul. Aiden Gardner, big body man. That foul was on Zeptakis. This will send Gardner to the free throw line. Head officials talking this over. Aiden Gardner is a 73% free throw shooter this season. Correction, the foul is actually on Griffin instead of Zetakis. Gardner's first free throw is up, dances and in. We're going to see Kenda Knight come in now. Griffin gets it into Zetakis. Backside, backside. And uh, very delayed layup there, but goes in for two nonetheless. Falcons lost control and it goes out the back end. Jalen Tharp now checking into the game. Jalen Tharp checks into the game for Montevallo. Zetakis does another deep three shot. He misses, but Schiffler gets the rebound. McNeil now trying to drive to the basket, but back out to Schiffler. Schiffler for three. Swish! Mason Schiffler firing up now. Mason Schiffler had 16 points in that win last week at West Al. Falcons are also 47% from outside the arc. Propelled them to that win on Wednesday. Three different Falcons at three points. Griffin gets it off to Zaptakis. Zaptakis just floated up there and in for two. Zaptakis is fifth in the conference in average points. He's averaging 17 points a game. 
43% from the paint. Sarp, he does a three. He missed. Bertolette gets the rebound and in for two. Braxton Bertolette. Bertolette got the steal. He tried to lay it up in and he missed. And now Wolves with the ball. Cross court to Zetakis. Zetakis corner three. Airballed it. Shiflet now, D3, switch! But he gets called for a travel. Mason Shiflet drains a three, but they call it back as he traveled. Unfortunate call there for Mon Val early. Falcons are up 13 to 11. 15 minutes left to play in this first half. Checked into number three. Doubling up. And Knight drawing the offensive foul. Colton Griffin, second personal foul. Checking in for the Wolves is number 20, J.J. Barnes. We haven't seen the Wolves make any substitutions yet in this first half. Well, number 20, J.J. Barnes just checked in. Knight, he's trying to move to the basket. Gives it out to Bertolette. Bertolette lays it in for two. Bertolette throwing in some style into that one. I mean, we could talk about Braxton Bertolette all game. He's averaging 20 points a game. First in the conference in scoring. As the Wolves drain a three there. Knight missed that little layup. Zeptakis, deep three, misses. Falcons with the ball, Bertolette. Gives it over to McNeil. McNeil drives to the basket, puts it up, misses, gets his own rebound, gets it out to Knight, now over to Tharp, Tharp for three. He misses, and that is collected by Sasser, but goes out on Knight. Now on to the court is Mason Shifley and Aiden Gardner. Double coverage. The attack is now with the ball. He moves in, does a finger roll, but misses, and Gardner gets the defensive rebound up to Shiflet. A little more. 
Berlant being double covered gets it over to Moore again. Dart makes a move. He loses control. Out to Shiflet. Shiflet for three. He misses. But Dart, ball is being bobbed around under the basket. And it's Falcons ball. Moore will go on the inbound. Now on to the court is Cole Fisher. It's a good start for the Falcons. In Gardner. Will draw a foul. Sasser gets called for a foul. Again, 73% free throw shooter. Can add two more points to the board here. This one's up, and it's in cleanly. It's the second one, it's up and in. Falcons are 100% from the free throw line so far. They're 80% from the stripe Bryson, Bryson. on the season as a team. That's leading the conference right now. Fisher with the ball, gets it over to Jackson. Now it's Attackus now moving around effectively. Back over to number 20, 20 for three. In and out. That shot was by J.J. Barnes. He missed. Now with the ball is Shiflet. Shiflet. He tries to drive in. He missed, but Gardner there gets the second chance. It's going to go off of Tyler Moore. And Gardner is having a good game so far tonight. Yes. Up to seven points. Usually one of the better guys defensively, but he's showing himself offensively tonight. He's done it before in some games, especially at Mississippi College game early on in the season. Natakis gets it down low to number 24. That's Amari Davis. Somebody got subbed in. Yeah, and that game against Mississippi College is a huge team effort. One of had, I believe, five players in double digits that day. Barnes did a little jumper there, missed, and Schiffler got the defensive rebound. Now McNeil over to now Bertolette with the ball. They'll need another big team effort here today to put a stop to this to really good Wolves team. Bertolette again with the ball. Gets it back to Gardner. We'll have a foul on Aiden Gardner here. We have a media timeout here. Score 19-14, 11.35 left to play. Media timeout. back here in Trustmark Arena. Falcons have 19-14 on this West Georgia team. Having a solid game so far. 38% in the paint. Barnes gets it back to Zadi. Barnes now over to Fisher. 
trying to create, Wolves are trying to create some ball movement around the point here. Jackson makes a move in. He's just left unguarded and lays it in for two. Jackson is averaging 33 minutes a game for this team. Solid player for the Wolves. Kidding on night went in to lay that up. They didn't call the foul, but Burlick got the offensive rebound and then he, got, he drew the foul. That one going on J.J. Barnes. And we all know what this means. Braxton Bertolet at the free throw line. Pretty much guaranteed points for Mount Valley. Sam. He had one of the longest streaks in D2 basketball history. 53 for 53. Number two all time, D2. Currently leading D2. The streak came to an end on January 2nd in that loss. West Alabama. And he's going to J.C. McNeil drawing the personal foul on tripping. Mari Davis was trying to pass it, but he lost control. But Wolves were able to hop onto it. Jackson drives in, lays it in for two. Barnes tried to run in there and Moore checked it in to McNeil. JJ Barnes was called on a foul there against I, but McNeil lays that one in for two. JC McNeil had 28 points in their last game, that win at West Alabama. One of the bigger days for him. That was on his birthday as well. Fisher with the ball gets it back to the Natlin. Satakis gets over to Fisher. Six seconds on the shot clock. Shoots a three, he missed. And Shifflet now has the ball. Gets it up to Moore. Falcons trying to set the offense now. Shifflet shoots a three. Swish! Mason Shifflet. What a shot Mason for Shifflet. Shifflet is just on a tear right now. Fisher with the ball. Hook pass out to, to Jackson. Gets it back to Zataka. Down low to Davis, and Davis made a move and was able to be open and lay that one in for two. Bertolette with a three, switch! Braxton Bertolette. Braxton Bertolette, he's 41% from distance. That's fourth in the conference right now. Goes out on the Wolves and will be Falcons ball. And the Wolves are calling a timeout. All the fans in Trustmark are getting hyped up. Score 29-20, 8.44 left to play here in the first. Absolute insanity here. So as we return back to the court, it will be Falcons ball. Tyler Moore getting the inbound here. 
Let's go, go get it. Hot start for the Falcons. We know their offense can perform as they have been doing. Bertolette tried to get off another three, but he missed. And their defense has also been showing up today, which is not their strongest. Zetakis moved into the lane, almost went in, but we're going to have a foul here on Kenda Knight. Or shoot. Zetakis will step up to the line to shoot two. He is 75% this season from that distance. His first one is in. His second is up, and it's cleanly in as well. Verdelet with the ball, he makes a move, drives to the basket, tried to lay it in, he missed. He lost Great control. Stop from Kendon Knight there. McNeil now with the ball. Or McNeil covering Fisher. The intensity of this game is ramping up as it ends. Just as we said in the pregame, we knew they'd have to play with tempo. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. Zeptakis missed that three and Schiffler got the rebound. He's now driving to the basket. Tried to lay it up. He missed. And we have a foul call. Surely that's on Zeptakis. We're going to have a media timeout first. 29-22 to score. 7.42 left to play. Leading scorer, Braxton Bertolette. on the inbound here. Give it a look, it's there. Come on. Gets it to McNeil. And McNeil draws a foul. That's gonna be on Zadi Jackson. Shooting two from Number three, Jay. This will send McNeil to the free throw line. J.C. McNeil is a 70% free throw shooter. These are his first points from the stripe tonight. McNeil makes his first free throw. He was the Montevallo player of the week this past week. This one's up and it's in cleanly as well. We're going to see another substitution here for the Wolves as number 10, Michael Griffin, comes into the game. They check it in to Denatlin. Down to Griffin. He gives it to Zatakis. And Moore gets the defensive rebound. Good stretch of defense by Montevallo right there. And Austin Latch is in the game as well. He's another big free three point shooter. Tharp. He misses. And Sasser gets the rebound for the Wolves. The Falcons have been good on the rebound tonight, which is something they've struggled with in the past in that West Alabama game. Even though they won, they were out rebounded 43 to 27. 
Got 18 so far. Denatlin with the ball. Zip back to Zabatakis. He misses his three, and McNeil gets the defensive rebound. McNeil, he has a lane, drives, lays it up. He misses. There was no one open. Griffin was wanting to pass to Donatlin, but Donatlin, not paying attention, goes out of bounds. Now in for the Falcons is Kendon Knight and Mission Shiflet. Moore now with the ball. Gets it back to Bertolette. Trying to work it around the point. Bertolette sets back, shoots a three, and it's in and out. That was number three. Zadi Jackson, he made the move in, but he missed, and Knight got the defensive rebound. Knight with the ball right now. That was a great rebound from Knight there. Trying to pass it in to Bertolette. Bertolette flips it in. And what a sequence of events. Bertolette saving the ball and then Bertolette saved the ball from going out and then. Big team effort from Montevallo right now. We're gonna keep this score up 31 to 22. Just under six minutes left in this first half. Donatlin with the ball now. He's it down to Griffin. Grissom moves in out to Jackson. Jackson makes his three. Moore now with the ball. He moves in, drives, puts it up, a miss. And now Wolves back on the offensive. Falcons have not scored a point since the Bertolette free throw. Out to Denatlin, Denatlin for three, he missed. Moore had the rebound in his hands, but luckily Shiflet is there to get it. McNeil now with the ball. He's off to Shiflet. Hand off to Moore. McNeil, he's driving into the basket. Tries to lay it up, he missed, but McNeil had the ball. And he had it under the goal line, then threw it out, so hoping Bertolette was there, but it went out on him. Now coming on to the court is Jalen Tharp. Then for the Wolves is Colton Griffin. As they clean up a wet spot real quick under the goal. Just under five minutes left to play here. Score is 31-25. Don't think West Georgia was thinking they would be down to Montevallo at this point in the game. They're on a three-game win streak. Their last game was a win at Point University, 93-59. to An alley-oop to Griffin. Disgusting. Griffin meets with Knight to stuff him. But he draws a personal foul and will send Knight to the free throw line. Shooting two for number two. Your standings for the GSC. Falcons are seventh in the GSC, and this West Georgia team is third. Knight's first free throw is good. His second one is a miss, but he gets his own rebound. And now McNeil has it. McNeil drives, lays it up and in. Opposite hand and side. Lays that in with his right from the left side of the goal. JC McNeil is 52% from the paint this season. Been a killer year. A senior out of Queens, New York. Zadi Jackson there with a little two-pointer. I heard from Rista Press Row. Sarp with the ball, gets it over to Knight. 
Jackson Bertolette was almost triple teamed there. Did end up having a turnover. Jackson with the ball. That's the kind of defense you have to play against one of the best basketball players in D2 basketball, though. Pass it over to Donatlin. Donatlin shoots a three. He missed. Over to Griffin, back to Donatlin. They're gonna reset, the Wolves are gonna reset the offense here. Donatlin drives in, lays it up in for two easily. McNeil now with the ball. McNeil trying to make a move to the basket. And hook shot it in. McNeil was looking for a foul call there. Ball being bubbled around under the goal. Finally, Sasa had it, and a foul is called. We're going to have a media timeout. Falcons still have 36 31, 230 left to play in this first half. Another thing we'll have to watch for in this game is the bench points. Last game at home against AUM, the Falcons struggled with that. Another thing here is West Georgia has 10 points off of Falcon turnovers, whereas the Falcons only have four. Five. Jalen Sasser at the line for the Wolves. This one's up and it's in cleanly. <laughs> Second one was good. More now, get it off to McNeil. More now, he's trying to drive to the basket. He puts it up and in for two. Tyler Zabatakis. We have a travel. That was Amari Davis that gets called for the travel. Mason Shiflet that back in bounds. Tyler Moore. Knight with the ball now. Gives off to Shiflet. Shiflet for three. In and out. Oh, it was in and out, and then went back in and out. Zabatakis. Amari Davis lost control for the dunk, and Falcons get the defensive rebound. Bertolette now with the ball. Moves, lays it up, and in for two. <laughs> Donatlin gives it off to Jackson. Let's 
stylish little layup in for number three. Shifflet now with the ball. Knight. McNeil. He's trying to set the pick and roll. But now he drives in, puts it up, he misses. And Zabatakis gets the defensive rebound and gets it out to Griffin. And now Donatlin, he's trying to drive in, loses control, regains it, puts it up, misses, and now Schiffler gets the defensive rebound. Montevallo defense really has been showing up tonight. Five team blocks. Falcons will call a timeout here. 40-35, 31 seconds left to play. As we come back on the court, Bertolette will be on the near side inbound for the Falcons. Is it into McNeil? Gives it to Gardner. Out to Moore. Shot clock is at, is at seven seconds. Moore saw a lane, he drives, tries to lay it up, but he misses off the side of the backboard, but Schiffler gets a steal. Schiffler now with the ball. Gives it to Gardner, Gardner throws it down! Yeah. What a way As to As time go. expires in that first half, Mason Schiffler sets up Aiden Gardner for a huge basket. Falcons up, 42 to 35. We'll see you back here in Trustmark for the go. second half of this game. What a way to go into the half. James Smith, James Keith Smith. Michael Flores, come on down to the court, come on down to the court.
Kenny My name Williams is James Smith. Smith. James Keith Smith. Then a free throw, then a three pointer, and a half court shot. If you can hit all four in 35 seconds, you'll win a $500 gift card. So we jacks it up first. Jacks it up first. Jackson, your time will start on my clock. On your mark. Get set. Lay up. Good. Lay up is good. Free throw now. Get the free throw. Go no free throw. That's a free throw. Three point shot. Three pointer. very um it's very emotionally driven opera music i mean you're sitting for two or three hours listening to somebody sing you know a whole there's no talking you know what i'm saying so you have to you know get the message to be con conveyed not through just you know speaking it has to be sung so it's through the music it's through you know the atmosphere that the music creates it's through what you do with your voice and what the composer you know writes for the voice to do everything about opera and classical music is literally the purest form of just expression I want to say what was different mostly about this show is that, well, number one, my voice over time has just grown. Of course, the more you work out the muscle of your voice, the better it's going to get. And so, to me, to have my voice at a capacity that, you know, I didn't think it would ever be at, and to have, like, these new sections of my voice that, you know, really are starting to you know, imitate the operatic sound and really starting to like develop into, you know, these great tenors and stuff and how they sound and stuff. That also helped me to be able to then um, manipulate and curate my voice and develop it in a way that was able to express the character. And so for my voice to have grown to where it is, it 
calmed me down and helped me to understand and have the freedom of expression. I played Nemorino, who is this um, this silly kind of like uh, peasant boy who's just walking around and like uh, he's in love with this this village girl who's like who has this like she's well off she has money and stuff so you know she's looking at him and she's just like ah you know I don't want that peasant and stuff she's very capricious and she's all over the place so I, I really had to tap into you know that section of myself that is able to you know express that that feeling of wanting somebody who doesn't want you back Definitely um, on open night, you're always, I always have jitters. I always have that nervousness of just like, okay, you know what I've been preparing for for months is gonna happen. You find solemn and you find calmness in your preparation. And that's why it's very important to practice and it's very important to understand exactly what you're doing and understand exactly where you're going and what you are saying and what you want to convey to the audience you know do I want to increase my diction here or is it all about the notes and do I just want to make sure that you know I'm floating and you know I'm tall and it's coming out how it's supposed to come out you know, do I want to make sure that my breathing is right so they can really feel that moment and they can feel when those violins soar and they can feel when the piano is kind of like doing its thing and they can feel that sound coming out of your mouth do you want to focus on the sound so they can feel Feel that, or do you want to focus on the words because these words move on the story? It feels great to have them just there and, and to support. And the number one that I number one question that I ask them every time is, um, did you understand? Did you get it? Did you pick up, you know, what needed to be picked up? Did you, you know, feel it? Did you understand it? Did you understand what we were trying to say? Did you get the story and stuff? Did you enjoy the story? These are the questions that I asked them because again, you know, that's the goal. It's for the audience to get it. And so when they tell me yes, and they told me, you know, I got it, and they tell me, you know, all these great things about how great we did and stuff, that is just, that's amazing. It, it feels amazing. My biggest takeaway from opera and doing opera, so to say, is that there's always better, you know, and there's always something bigger out there, and you should continue to strive. You should continue to work at your voice, continue to work at your musical expression. You know, there's there's always a, a new story to be told.
We're just about ready to start this second half between Montevallo and the West Georgia Wolves. Big first half for the Falcons, up 42 to 35. Shooting 39% from the paint, 33% from distance. 88% from the stripe. See what this second half has to give us. Falcons so, just need to keep doing what they've been doing all game. Don't change anything about that game plan. It's been working out really well for them. Shot clock was not going. Should be at 22 seconds. Natlin on the inbound. Now low to Griffin. Griffin puts it up. He misses. Gardner had it one-handed in his hand, but missed. Now Shiflet, he does have it. Mason Shiflet's got seven rebounds this evening. McNeil now with the ball. More. Now I'm giving it over to Shiflet. Now Bertolette. Back over to Moore. Moore makes a move, drives. Puts it down low to Gardner. Goes off Gardner and goes out of bounds. Your points leaders on the floor. Braxton Bertolette for the Falcons with 13. Denatlin also with 13 for the Wolves. Pass over to Jackson. Jackson now resetting the offense. Got a foul call here. It's going to be on Aiden Gardner. Personal foul number 32, Aiden Gardner. His third personal team foul number one. Choice works there from Coach Anthony. Jackson shoots a three. He misses, and Gardner gets the rebound. Big rebound for Gardner. That's his seventh of the night. 25 rebounds for Montevallo so far. McNeil shoots a three. He misses off the front part of the rim. Ball was being bobbled around, rolling on the court. Now Den Allen puts up a jumper. He misses. Now Zepatakis puts it up. He misses. Ball being bobbled around. Finally, Shiflet gets control. Shiflet, he shoots a three. In and out, but Gardner gets the rebound, puts it back out to McNeil. Moore with the ball. Drives in. He misses and punched back in for two. By Braxton Bertolet. Jackson blocked by Gardner. Big man stuffing little man. Big block from Hayden Gardner. Aiden Gardner. Aiden Gardner's got 13 blocks this season, 10th in the conference. That was his 14th. That was Gardner's third personal foul, and then Coach Kamara trying to hype up this, this campus fan crowd, and a foul called on Zabatakis. Trust Mark Arena is on their feet going crazy. We're going to have a media timeout. Everyone going crazy. It's going to be a full timeout as well as media. Florida media timeout.
on the inbound will be Bertolette. With Tyler Moore, correction. Well, Bertolette now does have the ball. Gonna give it off to Knight. And off to McNeil. Bertolette, he sees a lane, tries to drive, and draws a foul. On number three, that's on Zadi Jackson. Or number two, it seems, actually. That will be on Cameron Dunatlin. That's his first personal of the night. Bertolette, obviously his first free throw is in. Death, taxes, and Braxton Bertolette making his free throws. And his second one, too. His streak might be over, but yet again, he's back into his rhythm. 96% from the line, incredible. Jackson with the ball, gives it over to Griffin, now off to Zabatakis. Zabatakis drives in, makes two people jump, puts it in, and one. That foul is on Kendon Knight. That's why. Sabatak is also one of the best players in the conference. 75% the line. Fifth in the conference, averaging 17 points a game. That foul actually was on Mason Schiffler at night. Aiden Gardner, his first one, his shot is out. The and one free throw was out. Bertolette now has the ball, gives off to Schiffler. Schiffler fakes a three. He, now he makes a move, drives towards the basket, throws it up, misses, and then the Natlin, Shiflet, not happy about the call. Down double team on the Natlin there. Sasson and Bertolette. Is that attack is open corner three and he makes it. He can hit those threes as well. Thirty nine percent from distance. That's ninth in the conference. Wolves are trying to pick up the pace. Falcons have to keep playing this defense they've been playing all night. Moore now with the ball, Moore drives in. Kendon Knight in the corner, shoots a three, in and out. It's gonna be a jump ball. Some chattering going between. We got a tee, a tee up here. We got a technical, it should be going both ways. Gonna be jump ball. Referee still deciding. No, the final call is. So Denatlin and Shiflet. Tentacle, but it will be personals, it seems, for both Shiflet and Denatlin. They get it in tonight. Now, more and more. Corner three. Just short into the hands of Denatlin. Falcons have to get a stop here. They're only up by six. Jackson tried to drive in and lay it up, but he draws a foul. It's on Kendon Knight. Jackson's first free throw is up, and it's a miss. Again for number 13. Now on is Jalen Tharp. Yeah. 
Jackson's second free throw is up. And it's out as well. McNeil now over to Bertolette. Bertolette, deep three, and he misses, but he draws a foul. That foul is on Sasser. He's going to send Bertolette to the free throw line, and he will be shooting for three. We know Braxton Bertolette can put up some points here. Easy points for the Falcons. We have a wet spot on the court. Falcons shooting 90% from the free throw line so far tonight. 10 for 11 as a team. Really good percentage there. They're the best free throw shooting team in the Gulf South. Bertolette's due to first. Braxton Bertolette's incredible performances. Bertolette's first free throw was in. Second one is clean as well. Now on the court is number 20, J.J. Barnes for the Wolves. Bertolette's last one is in. Another clean strip. And J.J. Barnes for West Georgia had 14 points in their last win at Point University. It's like three times a Tharp getting Team called for another five. personal foul. We will have a media timeout. Score 49-40. Back at the sheet, actually, it does seem that Donatlin and Shiflet do have technicals. And we're still outscoring. Jackson was on the inbound out to Zabatakis, and wow. Just like that, they're back down by six. Hurdle it over to McNeil. Now gives it off to Tharp. Knight now trying to move in towards the basket. Gives it off to Shiflet. Zabatak is now with 15 points for the Wolves. McNeil with the ball. Out to Shiflet. Shiflet fakes. Shiflet's trying to drive into the basket, makes a move, lays it up. And Shiflet gets called for a travel. Bertolette. Zabotakis passing it up to J.J. Barnes. Now gives it to Sasser, and Sasser lays it in for two. Knight with the ball. Out to McNeil, over to Tharp. Tharp makes a move, driving in. Puts it up, and he draws a foul. That's gonna be that foul is on Cameron or Colton Griffin. Oh 
Jalen Tharp coming to the free throw line here. Grad transfer out of Clarksville, Tennessee. From Montevallo. And that was the first one. Gardner checks back into the game. Now this one is up and it's coming in as well. Tyler Moore now comes into the game. Check it into Jackson. JJ Barnes does a floater and that's in for two. Burlett now with the ball. And they call a personal foul on Bertolette, but that was an obvious flop, if anything, by J.J. Barnes. No one in the building happy with that call. He's wearing purple. On Coach camaro has got a lot of words for the referees. Awful call there by head ref. Still pretty early here in this second half. Griffin now gives it to Barnes. Barnes steps back out, tries to go back in, but gives it off to Griffin. Griffin trying to pick up. Shifflet got a hand on it, but Colton Griffin shot up and missed. And now West, it will be Falcons ball. West Georgia claiming it was not off of them. Burlett checks it into McNeil. Tyler Moore gives it back to Bertolette. Tries Gardner. to get it down. Try to get it down low to Gardner. It's almost open under the basket. Sasser got there in time to tip that out. Moore on the pink inbound to Gardner. Gardner puts it in. Just a little layup there. They're playing double. They're playing double down defense here. Schiffler gets called for a block. That's their seventh team foul. It's going to allow West Georgia to have. A little bit of confusion here on the timeout. They thought it was going to be a media timeout, but turns out, misheard. Zadi Jackson will come back up to the line. Last time, to his, his last trip, he missed both his free throws. Everyone making it well known for him, but he makes that one. Jackson steps up for a second. This one's up, and it's in cleanly. Recollects himself after missing those other two that he missed earlier. Moore with the ball now. He's going to hand it off to McNeil. Sets up a pick and roll. McNeil just, McNeil just with a weird option. Jason McNeil throw. up to 10 for the Falcons. Zabatakis now with the ball. Gets it down to Griffin. Gardner from behind smacks it out of his hands. Out to Barnes, Barnes for three. He shorts it off the front of the rim. Now Bertolette trying to make a stride up. Drives back in towards the basket. Little jumper from the corner, he missed. Zabatakis gets the defensive rebound. Barnes now with the ball for the Wolves. He's driving towards the basket. 
goes out on himself and will be Falcons ball. Austin Latch checks back into the game for the Falcons and then for the Wolves is Cameron Denotlin. McNeil, the ball for the Falcons. He's gonna get it off to Gardner and back over more now. Back to McNeil. McNeil lost control. <laughs> Coach Camara trying to plead with the ref saying that's a foul. Ball's loose on the ground. Gonna be on McNeil holding. It's gonna send Zoddy Jackson back to the free throw line. It's gonna be a one and one. The Wolves are seven for 11 from the line tonight. This one's up. It's in cleanly. Sets back up to the line for his second free throw. Rebounding still playing a huge factor in this game That's as in. well. As the Falcons collect that rebound. McNeil now with the ball. Let's go, let's go, play. 36 rebounds from Montevallo. Only 26 for the Wolves. Moore now trying to drive in. Gives it off to Gardner. Gardner lost control. Now Zabatakis with the ball running down the court. Lays it up in for two. Just like this, the Wolves are back in it. That was Gardner's third turnover on that possession, back on defense, on offense. Moore collects that. And drive in. Moore draws a foul. This is going to force a timeout. It's going to be on Colton Griffin. Looking at some of the stats here, um, Falcons have 20 points from second chance shots, whereas the Wolves only have four. Also, Colton Griffin, Austin Latch, corner three, he misses, but McNeil is there to get the rebound offensively. Going to get it out to Tharp. Tharp drives in, tries to put it up, and he'll draw a foul. That's on Sasser. Like I was saying, another funny thing to look at is um, Griffin for the Wolves. He's in danger of fouling out of this game. Jalen Tharp will step up to the line to shoot two here. Jalen Tharp's only two points in this game came from free throw line earlier. And that was great. Coming into the game is Amari Davis. Just going to check in for Sasser. Sasser's 
Tharps. Next one is up, and it's a miss, and Zabatakis gets the rebound. Over to Denatlin. Moore intercepts the pass. It's steal from Tyler Moore. He's off to Gardner. Now Latch with the ball, gives it back to Moore. Gonna set up a roll here. Over to Latch, Latch for three. Off the inside of the rim. Zabatakis now at the ball. Poked out by Jalen Tharp. And they're gonna call a foul on Jalen Tharp here. His third personal of the game. Now on is off. Mason, it's Mason Shiflet. She's gonna send a Natlin to the free throw line. He's been one for two on his trips. He misses. And Amari Davis was able to tip it in. It's gonna count for, what is this gonna count for? They will give him the two points there. Throws it into Moore. Moore having to look over his back shoulder knowing J.J. Barnes is there. Moore trying to drive in, move around the court. Gives it to Gardner. Gardner couldn't get control. And another foul is called. This one on Amari Davis. It's going to send Aiden Gardner to the free throw line. Falcons have had the lead since early in the first quarter, and they are in danger. Giving it up here. This one's up, and it's in and out. 56 Falcons. to 55, Montevallo, 11 minutes left in the game. Falcons needed that free throw to hold the lead. Now they have to play defense, something they're not good at, but they've been doing well all game here. Zabatakis shoots a three, and that's cleanly in. Just like that, Wolves are trying to make themselves known again in this game. Gardner, and another personal foul called on the Wolves. That one on Denatlin. Shooting two from Montevallo, number 32, Aiden Gardner. Aiden will be shooting two here. He's got 11 points tonight so far. His first one's up, and it's in. <laughs> Bertolette's now going to check into the game. Number one, Braxton Bertolette. He's going to take Jalen Tharp's spot. 18, 18. Aiden's second one is up, and it's in as well. Tie game again. Doubling up on Jackson. Gets up to Barnes. Back over to Jackson. Now over to Zabatakis. Euro step. Gets it over to Davis. And Davis puts it in for two. That was a great assist from Zabatakis there. McNeil now with the ball. McNeil gets it to Gardner. Gardner puts it up and in for two. Barnes with the ball. Gets it back over to Jackson. Trust Mark Arena was hyped going coming out of the first half, but now it's came down to a, a lull. First foul, number three, JC McNeil. His McNeil. Third McNeil third draws a foul here. That's his third personal. It's gonna send Denatlin to the free throw line. Shooting two for West Jordan. one with 13 two, points Cameron. on the evening for the Wolves. This, this one is up, and it's a miss. Now Jalen Tharp coming back in. 
Someone's going to have to step up here defensively and offensively for the Falcons. This one's up, and it's cleanly in. We, we know Aiden Gardner can block. He's top 10 in the conference in that category. More out to Tharp. Tharp from the corner for three. Misses off the inside. Two Falcons went up for it, but it's going to become Wolves ball. Falcons have to get back here firing on offense. As we said, they're one of the second best offenses in the Gulf South Conference, but they're one of the worst defenses. But tonight they're showing that they are a good defense, but the offense is just not firing as they were in the first period. A little floater from J.J. Barnes, and Davis able to just flip that one in for another second chance. Moore now with the ball. Moore makes a move. He wanted to give it to Bertolette, but he couldn't. And Barnes gets the steal knowing that it was going to go to Bertolette, and Zabatakis lays it in for two. Kamara calls a timeout, trying to get the Falcons back in sync here. That was a rough few plays for Montevallo. Hopefully Kamara can come up with a game plan to get them back into this. Falcons down 65 to 60. Eight minutes left in this game. One left to play, 60 to 65, Falcons down by five. Are we gonna to have to witness some more magic as we did against AUM? Down low pass from Shiflet, he puts it in for two. Mason Shiflet! Just down by three now. Sarp now, or right, that is. Jackson, who will easily just put that in for two. Pass up to Shiflet. Shiflet fakes a three. Out to McNeil. McNeil trying to drive in. Puts it up and in for two. Falcons are now starting to find that offense that they need. Bertolette gets the steal. Puts it up. Misses. And J.J. Barnes gets the rebound. Back to Denatlin. Knight gets the block. It's still going to be Wolves ball. Wow, what a sequence of events there. Bertolette got a steal, went to go put it up. Didn't get a foul call. Rest didn't see any evidence and moved down the court. And Knight got a block. Come back by the Wolves. 
has shown in the rebounds. We've been saying all game, they've got up to 34 rebounds now. Falcons still at 37. The Wolves are 48% in field goals. Falcons at 36. It's going to be Jackson on the inbound. Going to get it into Zabatakis. Now Barnes with the ball. Jackson's going to help reset the offense, setting for a pick and roll. Out to Zabatakis. Zabatakis shoots a D3. Zabatakis, 5 for 10, 50% from distance tonight. It's a pretty great performance. From outside the arc. Jumper from Bertolet cleanly in. Bertolet immediately responds to that Zabatakis three with some points of his own. Just down by four now. Still enough time left here for the Falcons to come back and try to get the lead. Barnes double covered. Denat went out with the ball, gives it back to Zabatakis now over to Jackson. And that one drives in, pass out to Zabatakis. He misses that one. Denatlin gets the rebound. Knight now has the ball. Substitute in for Montebello, number 32, Aiden Gardner. Gardner comes back onto the court. It's going to be Wolves' ball here on the inbound. Is Tap attack this little fade jumper, misses. Davis gets the rebound now out to Barnes, now over to Denatla. Come on, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the ball. The game has definitely slowed down since the first half. Obviously, players are getting tired. That up tempo pace that the Falcons need to have in order to put points up has not two. been consistent. And a Foul is called on J.C. McNeil. That's his fourth personal. Then Atlin will be shooting two here. His first one's up and it's cleanly in. Tyler Moore. Now on is Tyler Moore from Jalen Tharp. He makes that one. Moore with the ball. Down to McNeil, over to Moore. Moore in the corner for three. And that's off the top part of the glass. Zabatakis on the inbound for the Wolves. Gets it into Jackson. Tried to do a style layup. Gardner Great defense from Aiden Gardner him. there. Gardner stuffed him. Now Moore has the ball. He wanted to give it to Bertolette. Moore has a lane. He gets blocked. And then Donatlin evil easily lays that one up in. Falcons finding themselves down back down big. Bertolette shoots a three. He misses. Jackson has the ball. Under five minutes left to play. Like I said, down by eight. This is not a big gap to overcome. Falcons have done it before. And we know how good their offense is. 
producing points when they need to. And just like that, Del Natlin able to lay that one in. Now they're up by 10. To put those points up, they'll have to put some stops to the Wolves. And easily, Erdelite lays it in for two. Braxton, but it's not just the offense. Braxton Erdelite up to 24 points now. Everyone questioning the call there by the refs as Moore got trucked. Ball is just being put up in the air for no reason. Everyone's still questioning the call not to call the foul on the trucking. Zabatakis with a three, what in the world? Zabatakis, now six for 12 from distance. He's up to 28 points, leading the floor for the Wolves. We'll see if the Falcons can mount a comeback here. Less than four minutes left to play, Falcons down 68-79. McNeil here to take the ball in. Burlett now fakes, sets back, back to McNeil. Foul called. That one on JJ Barnes. Press the foul number 20, JJ Barnes. His third person on team foul, number 10. McNeil is definitely not another person you want at the free throw line. He's clean tonight, and he's been pretty good on the year. His first one's up, and he's cleanly in. He misses that one. Shifflet gets the rebound. He fakes the three. He's going to give it back to McNeil. McNeil drives in, puts it up. And there's another foul call. It's on Zabotakis. James McNeil will go back to the free throw line. Falcons need any points they can get right now. 334 left. Shooting two for Montevallo, number three, J.C. McNeil. This one's up, and it's cleanly in. Now on is Jalen Sasser. Jalen Sasser is in danger of fouling out. He's at four. This one's up, and it's in. Jalen Sasser, six in the conference in blocks. He's got 17 on the season so far. Getting into foul trouble that way, I'm sure. That is Kenda Knight on the ground. Foul called on him for block. This is going to send Zabatakis to the free throw line. Shooting two for West Georgia, number one, Michael Zabatakis. That one's cleanly in 
for Zotakis. And then this one is cleanly in as well. Zavitakis putting up a 30-point performance now here in Trustmark against the Falcons. Jeez. Shiflet with the ball. Throws it back out to Bertolette. Now Shiflet again with the ball. Puts it down low to McNeil. Bertolette moves in, puts it in for two. Bertolette! Jackson Bertolette up to 26. Jackson able to easily that one in for two. Offensive foul on Jackson. That was drawn by McNeil. All right, pro, pro, get down there, pro. Camara coming up with some directions for this Falcon squad. Down by 10, 2.38 left to play. Inbound. Gives it to Shiflet. Shiflet's trying to drive to the basket. Gets it to Knight. Knight puts it in for two. Hendon Knight! Offensive oh, foul by <laughs> Jackson. That's his third personal. McNeil will go back to the line. He's been getting most of his points from tonight. Gonna go to the inbound. Some of the Wolves players having a conversation with the referees, trying to argue their case for this call. Mason Shiflet. Call timeout. Ramon Vallo. Falcons still down 75 to 83. 226 left to play. Falcons are out of time, or they have one timeout left. J.C. McNeil inbounding for Montevallo. Looking to do something, get themselves back in this game. That was game. supposed to go to Gardner, it looked like, but over his head. No foul, no foul, come on. Hey, Falcons are going to play clean defense right now. Bulls running time off the clock. They know they're up. Setting up a screen. Zabatakis, deep three. Oh, my word. Zabatakis, the three. Zabatakis. Incredible night for Zabatakis from distance. Shiflet tried to shoot off a three.
Wow. Zadi Jackson hobbling. Something in for West Georgia, number 13, Cole Fisher. Cole Fisher now checking into the game. This is the first I've seen of Cole Fisher. Number four, Tyler Bull. And number 23, Austin. Moore shoots a three, it's cleanly in. Moore drains a three with less than a minute left to play, bringing the lead back to 10 for the Wolves. The Wolves just holding onto the ball now, playing keep away. Tyler Moore getting called for a foul there. Shooting two for West Georgia, number 20, DJ Barnes. Falcons have been 26 for 69 in field goals tonight. It's not one of their best offensive performances. JJ's first free throw is in. Christian Fortner. Christian Fortner. Fortner checks into the game here in the last couple of seconds here. Second one. Wolves 15 for 21 from the free throw line. Tyler Moore now with the ball. Sets back, shoots a three. Swish! Tyler Moore! Tyler Moore is trying to be a late hero. But. It's too much. Falcons pulling out fouls. Keep time on the clock. It sends JJ Barnes back to the free throw line. This one's up and cleanly in. Gets it down to Gardner. It's me, Tyler Moore, inbounding here for the Falcons. 11 seconds left on the clock. See if they can put anything up in these remaining seconds. Puts that one in for two, and he will get First one as well. Shooting one for Montevallo. Number four, Tyler Moore. And your final score, folks. 83-92, Wolves win. In 33-point performance from... Sabadakis will be too much for the Falcons to handle. The Falcons will be back in action on Wednesday at the University of Alabama Huntsville, and then they'll be back here at Trustmark on Saturday against Lee University. I'm Sarah. And I'm Aiden Golden. Thanks for watching here tonight on the Falcon Athletics Network. See you next time.